In this video, I'm going to be showing you how Grant Hub allows organizations to centralize their grant giving activities by managing their funding programs from initial triage and processing of funding requests to dispersing of funds. So let's jump in and take a look. Within Grant Hub, we start with a funding program. A funding program represents a pot of money that is available to be dispersed to grant applicants. We can see at a glance how much is remaining in our funding program against what has already been paid out and what is scheduled to be paid out to ensure we don't overpromise funds. We can also create funding program requirements, which helps us define some eligibility criteria that will need to be checked against each funding request we receive against this funding program. If we take a look at one of the funding requests we've received against our funding program, we can see some details about who the applicant is and the amount they're requesting, along with the current status of the application. We also have a timeline on the right that allows us to see all communication that has happened between us and the grant applicant. We can leverage the integration with Outlook to synchronize emails and appointments relating to this specific funding request. Against the request, we can see the funding requirements, which helps guide the user to determine what checks need to be performed on the application. We can navigate into one of these to find out some further detail, and if appropriate, mark it as complete. We can modify the status of our funding request as time passes. If the request is successful, we can modify the status to award it along with the amount to be awarded. Once awarded, we can create funding disbursements which represent the payments which will be made to the grant applicant with a date of when and the amount. Some funding requirements may remain open even after the grant application is awarded, as some funding disbursements may be conditional based on a specific funding requirement being met downstream. In this example, the applicant needs to have volunteered for 50 hours by the end of 2023 before this payment can be made. Once all funding disbursements have been paid to the grant applicant, the user can mark the funding request as completed by clicking the deactivate button in the command bar and selecting the completed option. As it relates to reporting on all of my grant giving activities, I can navigate to the pre-built funding disbursements dashboard. From here, we're able to see at a glance some insights into our grant giving from being able to understand our active funding requests that are being processed to the ones that are assigned specifically to me along with an overview of the funding disbursements by funding program, as well as any funding disbursements which are overdue. I hope this video has given you a good overview of the grant giving capabilities within Grant Hub. If you have any questions or would like to find out more, please do not hesitate to contact us.